today I have filmed for you my full face using the Balm Cosmetics. Um, every single thing I think besides my brow gel is from the Balm and I'm absolutely in love with the products that I've used so far. Um, I just did a running errands look that also uses all of the Balm Cosmetics products but um, I just wanted to do like more of an in-depth full face smoky eye. Um, this has the awesome eye palette from the Balm called the Balm Appetit and it is a super cute package. It looks like this and it says eat your heart out and then the shadows are inside of here and this is I think this is a great palette mixed with a bunch of different awesome shades um, everything from like a highlighting transitiony shade like in this first row to really awesome shimmery shades here in the middle and then a little bit of some shimmery shades but kind of more of a semi shimmer to semi matte shades here on the bottom um, they are beautiful shades and I used the actually the majority of these this is an awesome palette and something super easy that you can use on the go. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I just found out this opens up! I didn't know that! Wow. Wow, wake up Chelsea, figure it out. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I really love this packaging. Um, I don't know how much this sells for. The, the reason why I'm using all of the Balm products is it's not sponsored, but my salon has carried the full line of the Balm Cosmetics, and so I wanted to do a lot of different videos using those products. That way I can educate myself on them and also see what I like about them and also educate myself to tell my clients about the products and tell you guys about the products um, and every single product that I have used so far by them has just amazed me has been so pigmented and for how pigmented these shadows are they don't have a lot of fallout which is totally awesome I use a more pink lip just because I wanted to bring a little lighter feel to this look but this is more to me of a springtime smoky eye. Um, if you can kind of see in the footage that I put before this video and after this video, and also while I'm filming and applying this, I use more purpley tones. Um, they were more on the cooler side, which I totally love cooler side eyeshadows. I'm just more of a warm person or more of like a brown shadow kind of person. But I really wanted to step outside of the box and use this palette. It is definitely a palette you can totally customize any of this. If you don't like crazy smoky eyes, don't feel like you need to go totally crazy and all out with this. You can definitely tone it down a lot. You can obviously make it bigger than I did. Um, it's totally up to what you like to do. The nice thing about makeup and looks is that you could totally customize any Anything. Like you could forget the steps that I did that deeper darker blue in the crease and you can definitely just skip that altogether. So the nice thing um, about this palette is that you have a lot of options. I hope you guys enjoy this video if you would like to see. I know that was a really long intro and I was totally rambling but um, if you guys would like to see how I got this look please keep watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you like the look. You could definitely come to Mod Hair Color Salon in Cedar Falls to pick up any of these products. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Alright guys, so I'm going to be starting with the Time Balm Face Primer. This is an amazing primer. It's very velvety, which I didn't think I would love, but I actually really do love it. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face, on my eyes, everywhere that I'm going to be putting foundation, concealer, anything like that. And then next I'm going to be using the Time Balm Foundation in Lighter Than Light. Obviously I'm the lightest shade possible, so I'm using this, but this is more of a cream foundation and I'm using it with my Beauty Blender and I absolutely love it. It is amazing foundation. You can definitely build it up. So it was a little bit full coverage at first, but once I kind of spread it around and blended it in more with my Beauty Blender, it was definitely a lot more of like a medium coverage, but you can definitely build it up. So. You can definitely make it full coverage, you can make it not so full coverage, it's totally up to you and it also depends on how you apply it too. If you apply it with a brush, obviously more full coverage. With a beauty blender, a little bit more sheer. Overall, my first impressions on using this foundation, I am in love and I'm definitely going to be buying my own. Next I'm going to be using the Time Balm Concealer in, again, lighter than light. 
This is definitely a thicker concealer, so do not get a lot on your beauty blender because you don't want it to crease. But I really actually do like this. I was afraid it was really going to crease under my eyes, but it did an amazing job of staying put. And it's really nice and full coverage, which is awesome. And then I'm going to be taking my Morphe E48 brush with the Highlight and Contour Palette in the shade 24. 250 hertz, excuse me, and I'm just going to be setting my concealer, um, and then I'm going to be taking the Photo Balm Powder Foundation in Lighter Than Light just to set everything, set my concealer more, set my foundation. This is an amazing powder too. You can definitely build it up again, and I'm using the Real Techniques Powder Brush, but I love this Lighter Than Light shade because it's not very yellow. It still has a very ivory, pinky undertone, which is what I'm definitely looking for in powders and foundation and concealers and then I'm going to be taking the put a lid on it eyelid primer and I'm just taking a little bit because a little goes a long way and I'm just going to put that all over my eyes just to kind of prime my eyes for the eyeshadow and I absolutely love this it's a little tacky when it dries but I don't mind that um, and then I'm going to be just kind of setting it with a light powder just really fast that way um, I'm not getting like it's still it will still be my skin tone on my eyelid then I'm going to be taking the Balm of Petite eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this palette. The packaging is so cute. Um, and then I'm going to be taking my Morphe M441 brush with the shade Bruce Sketa. Bruce Sketa. Ah, I get it. Okay. Then I'm just going to be taking that all over the lid. Um, pretty generous with this color, but I'm just going to be taking that um, in the crease, all over the lid, up to the brow bone, just to kind of give it more of a um, setting. And then I'm going to be taking the Ray Saint Bernard, and I'm going to be taking that in the crease. And I'm just going to continue to build that up, just because it was a little light at first, and I wanted there to just be a little bit more depth. So I continue to go back and forth, and I'm going to be just applying the same amount, inner corner to outer corner, um, not really worrying about how, um, not, like, if I'm putting it on sloppy or not, because I'm really not really true and fix that anyways. So um, yeah, this is just a beautiful neutral brown shade. Um, it's a little bit more on the cooler side, but I would say it's more neutral. Very creamy eyeshadows in this palette. Absolutely love them. Um, yeah, and I'm just going to continue to go back and forth. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Mac and Cheese. And I'm going to just really start to focus this more in the crease. I don't want to bring it up too high yet because we're going to get a little smokier later. Um, as I have less product on my brush though, I will kind of flick it up there just a little bit more and just to kind of make sure I don't have a harsh line. But this is a very pretty cool mauve -y eyeshadow. And I love this, especially like if we stopped right here and we didn't go any farther for this makeup look, I would definitely wear this on a day-to-day -day basis because this is just beautiful spring color and I am so excited for spring shadows, spring um, lip colors, spring blushes, just all of that different stuff because I just feel like winter has been so dark and just so drab and I'm so excited to just get this lighter feel in um, the makeup looks, hair looks, everything like that. This is a beautiful shade, beautiful eyeshadow. And then I am going to be going in with the shade Alfredo Pasta, and I this is where I'm really going to be precise. I'm taking the same Morphe M441 brush, but I'm just going to start to focus that on the outer crease area and just slowly bring it in. I know I've sped all of this up, but we don't really want to just go all in right away because I really don't want a lot of this blue shade to be on the inner corner. I just want to create more depth to the crease area on the outer corner just to kind of bring the eyes up and out just a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to just go back slowly, back and forth, just blending this out. This is more, it has a little bit of a sparkle in it, but I would say it's more of like a semi-matte to semi-shimmery shade. Um, it's definitely like when you look at it here, you can't really see a lot of the shimmer, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, basically I'm just using this color for depth, and then I'll go back in with more purple shades later. But when you're using darker shades like this, less is more, and you definitely want to start with a little bit and then continue to build up because the more, when you put it 
um, on your brush first and you're putting a ton and then you can't go back. You can't go back from super smoky to not very smoky. You've got to start small and work your way up. But I'm using a bigger fluffier brush for this just because I like the way this Morphe M441 brush applies and I just kind of really want to focus that more in the crease area. Then I'm going to be taking my Sigma E25 brush with the shade Rocky Road Ice Cream and I'm just going to start to put that in the lower crease area somewhat on the lid but really more focusing towards the outside of the lid. Um, and I'm just going to basically do the same exact thing that I did with the um, Alfredo Pasta shade. Just really focusing that in there on the crease, um, blending it up a little bit more just to kind of create more of that smoky feel. But this is definitely a very shimmery shade. Um, it almost kind of reminds me of like a foiled eyeshadow if I would spray some like MAC Fix Plus or like a spray primer on it to make it more vibrant. That definitely would be a great all over the lid color. Um, but it is very mauve dark, deep mauve purple. But I absolutely love this. It's a beautiful shade. Then I'm going to be taking my Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to kind of blend that upper um, smoky area so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to be taking my Sigma E25 brush with the shades Artie Choke Dip and Rocky Road Ice Cream again and just kind of mixing those two just a little bit to give it more of like a cooler tone and just put dabbing that all over the outer corner of my lid and I'll kind of blend that up into the crease just a little bit too but this you can definitely customize you definitely don't have to do this step if you just want to apply an all over the lid color but I wanted to kind of create more of that darker smokier look so that's what I did now you can go in definitely as far as you want then I'm going to be taking that same brush with the shade Tater Tots, and I, this is more of like a rosier purpley kind of shade, very shimmery, and I'm just going to put that from the inner corner to kind of blend where that outer corner on the lid was. Absolutely beautiful shade. I love these. These are super creamy, and there's not a ton of fallout, which is super awesome. And then I'm going to be taking just any e.l.f. smudging brush, and I'm going to take mix the shades Alfredo Pasta and Rocky Road Ice Cream together on my lower lash line just to smoke that out more on the outer corner just a little bit to kind of create finish kind of putting together that smoky eye so um, this is just a, these two are actually really beautiful it becomes really shimmery but also really dark and deep um, and then I'm just going to be taking my Sigma E40 brush with that um, kind of lighter highlighting shade bruschetta in there to kind of just blend everything out under there because I didn't want it to be super harsh or anything like that. But these, this palette is just absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend it for anybody who's wanting to create more of like a cooler springtime look. It's perfect. There's so many things and looks you can do with this palette and the packaging is awesome. Um, again, I don't know how much it retails for but it's pretty awesome. Then I'm going to be taking just a regular concealer brush with the Mary Luminizer by the Balm Highlighter just to kind of highlight um, my brow bone. Um, this is just a beautiful vanilla shade that I will actually use later as my actual highlight. Um, and then I'm going to go in with um, that same shade in my inner corner just to kind of open up the eyes just a little bit more and kind of um, just bring brightness to that eye look. And then I'm going to be taking the Mr. Right Now Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Scott, I believe is what it is. Um, it's a very, like, cooler, deeper purpley shade. And I'm just going to line my waterline, my top waterline and my bottom waterline with it. I absolutely love it. It just gives a nice pop of purple into your look. Um, there's lots of different colors that they have as well, which I'm really dying to try just to kind of see. They have a blue, like a green, just really, really cool shades to these eyeliners. And they're very creamy as well. And I like that they spin up instead of like having to sharpen them. And then I'm going to be taking the What's Your Type Black Mascara. This is a very bold and defined mascara. Um, I had to use a different one, obviously, for sanitary purposes. But um, this is an amazing mascara that gives lots of volume, separation, and makes your eyelashes bold. 
Then I'm going to be taking the Bahama Mama Bronzer. This is a beautiful, um, warm bronzer that I've absolutely been loving lately, and I'm taking the Morphe M523 brush to apply this. I wanted a little bit more of a harsher contour today. You definitely don't have to do this, but with this brush, you can get really harsh, and you can also get very blended as well. So kind of when I first apply, I'll keep it more on that harsh side, and then I'll switch it to kind of blend it up just a little bit more. Um, I'm just putting this in the hollows of my cheeks, um, on my temples, um, in the corners and the top of my forehead, um, a little bit on the nose, just because I kind of like that look a little bit, just to kind of bring everything in together. Um, and then just some on my jawline and my chin and just kind of down through my neck as well. Um, I definitely like to do this because I like to even out my highlight because I think um, if I didn't do anything on my forehead, my forehead would look too big or, you know, just th different things like that. So I just kind of like to bring, when I'm using bronzer, I do it everywhere because I like to bring everything together. Um, this is just a beautiful bronzer too. It's a great summer bronzer. Um, for me being pale and it's super warm, it actually looks really, really nice and it is a little bit more brown as well. Then I'm going to be taking the Instain Long Wearing Staining Powder Blush and this is a spring blush but this is in Argyle and I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics brush in number 227, my favorite blush brush and I'm just going to be putting this on the apples of the cheeks um, a little bit back farther on my cheekbones kind of up towards the temples just a little bit and then I'm going to be using the my one and only highlighter that I've been loving so much lately the Mary Luminizer by the Balm highlighter and um, just a beautiful vanilla shade that you can make look super natural or super crazy highlighted um, it just looks good on almost every single skin tone I absolutely love it Definitely a good buy for anybody that is looking just for a simple highlighter that is at a good price as well. Um, something that's going to last you a long time. I know I've had this for probably three years now and honestly I've barely dipped into it and I've used it so much. Last but not least, I'm going to be using the Balm's I'm a Good Kisser Lipstick. And this is a very beautiful, light, pinky shade that has a great sheen to it. Um, absolutely love it. Great on every skin tone. But yes, that completes this look. Um, thank you guys for watching my full face of the Balm Cosmetics tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And you can definitely um, subscribe, like, and comment on my video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!